Hello and welcome back to Dust and Legion Tale. If you're truly Lord of the Shinju the Mad. Story time. Again. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Oh, that's cute and all, but I'm going to kill him. What? What's this then? Right, have it on basic. Alternatively, I could have gone and given Reed his box back. Oh, right into the cap, eh? That's good. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you! Apologies, Miss Rarin. Please, enter. That's a very nice spear you have. Moonblood looked really spooky. Yes, let's we welcome talk. your presence, Zen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Is this all you have left? Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Zen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Are we safe here? Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sarath. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys. How did a moonblood operate so freely in the wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. What is the way of the flameless light? I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in dust. This could take a while. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, 
We believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintuk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. What can I do to help? Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Alrighty then. Ginger? Ginger? Gin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. I'm sure Jin had a hand in it. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. Mr. Is. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Nope. I mean, yes, of course I'll be careful. Obviously. You, who are you? Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. Okay, okay. Me in the hole I go. Wow. This is nice. Mm, let's race against. Whoa. That was bothersome. Could have been a stop to my activity already. Luckily for me, I was able to jump over. Why are the enemies here so much weaker than they are in the other zones? We 
Не обрадала. Is there actually any reason for me to be here? I see no signs of uh, generators or anything else after me. Same mat. Uh, thingy. Same use. In this particular area. Oh no, there is something. Did not notice the flag at first. I'm not sure how I could have missed that. So this is the water pump. Well, this is the water pump. Huh. It's dark. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, that seems to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. Ah, oh, stop. You're making me punch. Good. It's nice to see those abilities actually have other uses <laughs> than combat as well. That's yeah, cool. I like that. E off we go. Where we stop is the next area. Or nobody knows. Whichever. Save the game. I should have waited for the land to reappear. Okay, come back to me, floor. Icky. No. At least I got a treasure key until I died. Not exactly ideal, but I mean, it's something. It's not exactly ideal. And there we go. Oh, I survived. Until I tried to get the key again. This is going to take some thinking, isn't it? Okay, I'll skip to the successful part so you can not have to stare at all of these things. So much for skipping to the successful part that just succeeded, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. About misleading you. Into thinking I would not succeed already. Now we just need to find the save point. Or. Whoa. I did not realize that this lava was not in the foreground. That could have ended more terribly than it did. So luckily I noticed in time. Okay, now I just need to go all the way up there again. Come on, platform, I need you. Damn it. I double jumped too early, I guess. There we go, that's more like it. The last one is really tiny. It doesn't matter because we succeeded. Now we need to put lightning to this, I guess. Well, there's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Come on. Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside of Aurora. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanji. Yes, let's do that. Can I safely skip this area? Because I'd like to safely skip this area. I was able to safely skip that area. Now if I could also do that to this, which I can't. Oh bloody hell, I died. 
Great! I just go upstairs first. There really is no need for me to touch this key because I have a lot of keys. And I don't really use them a lot. Anyway. There we go. Out of here. Kill everything in my way and activate the bomb. I like that they take fire damage. Can nicely burn them all to death. Alrighty then, get here to the floor. Wow, that one was a bit close uh, than I would have liked. Guess I'm still in the easy part. I said I'm still in the easy part. Come on. There we go. Oh, alright, this is the end already. So no wonder it was not as easy as I might have expected. Lightning! I skipped that part because we just watched it before. How oh, nice. We and out of here. I need to be more careful this time in this specific area because... Yeah, this'll do. Wait. Come on, fire, don't throw me to death. Oh, very well. I will thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.